Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Not Your Dad's Beer. Your host, Mark Bay, Sam at Euclid Hall, where I work and also where I play. And we have a fun one today, right in line for Christmas, Santa's Little Helper, but barrel aged. This is by Port Brewing out of San Marcos, California. So Port Brewing does a couple different beers. They have Old Viscosity and Older, which is a barrel aged version of Old Viscosity. They make Santa's Little Helper and this barrel aged version, which is a bit rare if you'd ask me. At least in Colorado, it's rare. Uh, it's a 22 ounce bomber, 10% alcohol by volume, right in line with the category of an imperial stout, especially being barrel aged. Uh, the way you can tell the difference between the two bottles is they're going to look exactly the same, except the non-barrel aged version will have a black silhouetted Santa, where the barrel aged, he's actually colored in, you see him just fine. So if you're in the store, don't confuse the two, although the basic Santa's Little Helper is great. Uh, I'm a big fan. I have not had the barrel aged. I'm excited. It's actually snowing right here in Colorado right now. About what better beer to drink on a Monday. So we're going to go ahead and crack it, see how it smells, tastes, pours. Stay with us. So right away, that's an interesting pour. Um, most stouts that I've poured, I've seen the head throughs up real quick. There's a lot of proteins there. This doesn't have much of a head going to start off with. But uh, in terms of color, it's definitely a very dark. I wouldn't say it's black per se. I'm seeing a lot of light brown hues to it. Let's see if we can get that head to come back a bit. Head comes back just very, very small. Um, kind of looks like Cocoa Pebbles. Just uh, that burnt brown, soft, soft latte looking head. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, you know, give it a smell, give it a taste. All right, guys, so we have the beer poured, Sam's Little Helper, barrel aged. Kind of disappointed with the way it poured right off the bat. You know, I was expecting something more similar to the, uh, the Abyss, just a big, frothy chocolate head. Just really, really soft, sudsy bubbles. But we're going to go ahead and give it a swirl, really aggravate that beer, really bring out the aroma. We're going to go ahead and give it an aroma test, a smell. That's awesome. So. Pour aside, flavor-wise on that aroma is fantastic. You're getting rich vanilla mixed with just supple brownie and chocolate. Big oak and booziness behind it. I mean, that vanilla is strong from the, uh, from the barrels. It just smells rich and outstanding, but there's definitely booze there. I mean, you, you pick up that heavy alcohol, it's slightly astringent but it's sexy, it's really sexy. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. That's a big boy, that is awesome. Right away, gotta say the 10% alcohol is absolutely present. There's a whiskey burn on the tip of, uh, it's kind of rolling around your palate, kind of on the tip of your tongue. A hot booziness right here in your chest. Let's actually talk about flavors, right? Heavy, heavy, rich chocolate with just a touch of vanilla bean there. Strong, strong, oaky, woody presence right behind that richness. It's just this, it's a chocolate with just a touch of roasted malt. So it's chocolate and roasted malt and that lingering finish. It's almost just slightly smoky, but in a really good way. And like I said, the booze is present. You get that 10% bite, uh, especially in your chest, less in your palate, just a touch of whiskey flavor, but more in that chest. It's, it's this really warming sensation. Same way if it's a cold, snowy day like it is today, and I were to take a sip of whiskey, just a sip. That's what I'm getting in the chest. The body is full bodied, it's heavy, but it's not thick. It's heavy, like a spirit, like whiskey would be heavy in a sense. You work to take a sip. As you work your way through a 22 ounce bottle, it's gonna take a little bit of effort on your palate to get through it, because it's such a strong, boozy drink. But overall, it sips pretty easily. It's gonna need a little bit of time to warm. Uh, this is being served right now at about 50, 55 degrees. So it's not too, too bad, maybe about 50. About five degrees more, you'll get way more of those chocolate malts just kind of coming through. Um, it's a sellable beer, you know, at 10% and barrel age, it needs time to seller. Drinking it right now fresh within a couple weeks of release here in Colorado. It's just strong and it has a sharp edge to it, where if you let the six sit for six months to 12 months or longer, that booziness is going to back off. The characteristics of the beer are kind of going to dull, 
but everything becomes more balanced and sensual. Um, and that's what I prefer out of my beer. That's why I sell her everything. So I got a second bottle. I was only allocated two this year. So I got a second one I'm setting aside. I'm going to open it up next Christmas. Hopefully I can get more of it then. And as the years go on, I'll be able to really make a vertical out of it. It's a great beer. Uh, I'm going to drink it by, you know, with Dan Quinn, who's running the camera right now. I'm going to drink it with him. And we're just going to enjoy the snow and, and take the day. Uh, not going to pair it up with any food. Although 10%, I already feel it kicking in. Maybe I should get something to eat. Thank you for joining us at Not Your Dad's Beer. Uh, fantastic bottle by Port Brewing. Barrel Aged Santa's Little Helper. Perfect for Christmas. Thank you for joining us at Not Your Dad's Beer. Your host, Mark Bayes, Daniel Quinn on the camera. We're going to sit back. We're going to enjoy some Santa's Little Helper by Port Brewing, the barrel aged version. If you don't have it, start trading. If you do have it, start enjoying. Remember, friends don't let friends drink cheap beer. See you guys next time. Cheers. Port Brewing's Santa's Little Helper. Barrel aged, gotta tell you guys, this is not your dad's beer.